Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be teaching you guys how to program a VESC. So here we are in the VESC project. So today's video is going to be about how to program the Flipsky Dual 6.6 .6 using the firmware 2.03. So this is the VESC project website. You can usually just download it from the, the area that you can purchase the VESC tool under this tab, um, but we like to not use this tab and what we do is we go to this search and we search VESC tool Mac we go to the second one and then right here on github there are all of the VESC releases so we're gonna drop the link in the description of this video to this particular site that way you can download the VESC tool from there much easier so we're gonna click on the latest one it says it was released eight days ago in the past we've used 1.29 which has worked well so I have never really worked with VESC tool 2.3 so we'll see how that works out but you'll click on that and you'll click whatever type of computer you're using we're using a MacBook so we're gonna use the Mac OS and you'll click on it it'll download and then you should be able to open it unless this tab comes up so in this case, it'll just say, are you sure you want to open it? It's from an unidentified developer, and there's a way to bypass that. Okay, so you'll get to your system preferences, security and privacy, um, and then I guess it's already opened somehow, but normally you would just click right here under general and security and privacy, and you'd say open anyways. So here we have Vestool 2.03. We've opened it up right here, and this is the welcoming tab. Um, and so the first thing we're going to want to do is try to connect our VESC to this. So you're going to want to make sure that you've connected your VESC to your computer using a micro USB cable. We have one that can transfer data and it's really important that it's not just a charging micro USB but that it's one that can transfer data. And then you'll want to plug it into the micro USB port on the VESC and then turn on your VESC. Whether that means connecting it to a power supply or just turning on your battery that's what you're going to need to do so that the VESC has power. Next, you're going to want to click Auto Connect. And it says Auto Connecting here at the top. We'll see if it actually auto connects. Okay, so it didn't connect. So what we're going to do is try again by unplugging, replugging, and then clicking Auto Connect. And this is what it says. Could not read firmware version, make sure that the selected port really belongs to the VESC. Could not deserialize motor configuration, this probably means something's wrong with your firmware or this is version of the VESC tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here it says the VESC has limited firmware. So what we're going to do is go to the firmware tab, click on 60 or 6.0 because that's the hardware version, it's a VESC 6. Click here and then we're going to update the firmware. So there you go, it says uploading firmware, and it's updating the firmware on the VESC. Alright, there we go. It says your upload is done, you have to wait. Great, okay. If you were wanting to do this on multiple VESCs, you could have clicked the upload all, and it would have just done it for all of the VESCs. It would have uploaded the firmware. We could have done that since we're using two VESCs, but we decided not to. And now we're going to want to do the other one. So we're going to move it here, there, right here, auto connect, could not deserialize, motor configuration, yeah, 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 yeah. So we go firmware, same thing, and yes. So there we go, it's uploading the firmware on this one. Again, we could have just clicked uh, this arrow all, and there you go, it would have done it for both of them but this is gonna work just as fine. It might just take a little longer. Okay, there we go, and it's done. Okay, so we're gonna power off the VESCs now, like it said. Power it back on. And both lights on the VESCs should all turn on. Okay, so anyways, once you've plugged it back in, you'll want to reconnect it to the VESC. So if you're programming one VESC, you'll just obviously connect it to that one VESC. 
But if you're connecting two, you'll want to make sure you connect into the side to which the input is connected. So we have a VX1 receiver right here connected into this side of the VESC right here. So that's why we're connecting it to this side. And then we'll just go to auto connect and there we go. So next we're going to go to setup motors FOC. Click on that. And this is where you choose what size motor you're using. We are going to choose a medium outrunner because that's the size of most eSkate motors. We're using 6374s. I think it's also the same for 6355s and most other motors. So next, yes, and then you put in the number of cells that you have. We have 12, and the battery capacity, we have 9. Next, you put in the gearing. This all isn't really necessary unless you're going to be connecting it to the VESC app, which we aren't, but I just like doing that anyways. And then you can click run detection here. So what this is going to do is spin your motors, so you're going to want to make sure that your motors are free to spin. We've made sure nothing's in the way with this elaborate enclosure holding contraption. Um, that way when the wheels spin, they'll be free to spin. And it's going to spin both of your wheels because they're connected over CAN. So click run detection, OK. And then you just wait. So if you had one motor, you would do this with one motor and it would just be fine, but with two with this tool, it'll do both at the same time. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, so here we are. You can look at all of the things. It came out, hall sensors, hall sensors, perfect. All of these look the same. All these are about right, 74 amps per motor. Okay, and now we're gonna choose which direction the VESCs are going. So you'll click the forward and that will show which way the motor will spin should you push forward on the throttle. So forward, perfect, that's the right direction, forward. That is not the right direction. So what we're gonna do is click the invert and then forward and it'll go in the other direction there we go so now forward goes the right direction forward goes the right direction finish bam there you go so the next thing we're gonna do we've set up the motors is set up the input so we're using a flip sky vx1 which really doesn't have to do a lot of setup um, the same thing for ppm remotes so you'll go here click next It'll scan your CAN bus connector to make sure that there's another VESC. And there you go. So this is the one that's connected right here. And then this is the one over CAN. So this is the one we're plugged into right now. We'll click Next. We're using a VX1, so we choose PPM, even though it's not really PPM. Um, and then this will also work for all, all other PPM remotes, like the 2.4 Nano remote and the Inertia Nano X. So Next say okay here you don't really have to do anything next and then here we usually just say traction control true right to VESC get this little green thing next finish and there you have it it should work now um, we're gonna go get the remote controller and test this out to see if it works so our test was to turn on the remote which it did and then turn on the board and it instantly paired which means the input was set up correctly and then when we push the throttles, both motors spun the correct direction and at the same time, so the motors were correctly set up. We always like to do quite a bit of aggressive bench testing before we'll actually ride it, just to ensure that everything works well. So there you have it, that's a pretty basic idea of how you program your VESC using the VESC tool. I know that it's a really tricky and complicated topic, and it can still be quite difficult even after watching a tutorial like this. This was just meant to be a basic kind of show you the way how to do it how we do it tutorial, and by no means is it very comprehensive and encompassing everything that you can do with this tool. There's still many things that we have to learn and many things that we didn't even come close to showing. But yeah, if you're just looking for the basics in terms of how to program your VESC and get your board up and running, this should do exactly that for you guys. There's probably still going to be a ton of questions in the comment section below, so feel free to ask anything you might have. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. There's going to be a ton of links in the description below, including a download link for the VESC tool, also a link to the Flipsky VX1 remote and the Flipsky Dual 6.6 .6 VESC. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far and you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to us and leaving us a like below. Also make sure to check out our online store, Propulsion Boards, for lots of great eSkate parts. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.